Well, it is uh, December the 17th again. And I want to record this real quick because I think it's kind of funny. Why it's difficult to talk to liberals. This will give you a little bit of background. There is a, a woman that is just a few years younger than me that I have to deal with on a daily basis. And she's a nice enough person. But she's she's as liberal as they come. So having a conversation with her can be difficult. And let me explain why. Because this is this is how I, I just had a conversation with this person. And this is how it went down. I go into this place. I get a cup of coffee. And I have to wait there about a half an hour for them to get some mail and some FedEx stuff together. I'm having a cup of coffee. And there's a, a fruit cake, a holiday fruit cake with one little tiny piece cut out of it. She comes in there and she starts saying, I don't know why anybody brings this fruit cake in here. She says, we have a lot of Eastern Europeans here that that's a tradition. I said, yeah, I, I know. I, I said, for some reason, this area of Chicago, this these northern suburbs, they have a lot of Eastern Europeans here. Russians and Slovenians and and, there's a lot, and it's true, there's a lot, and they've settled in this area. So we're talking a little bit. And I said, well, I, I, this is what I told there are. A, they said, well, this is the... And then she mentions that Chicago has the largest Polish population outside of Warsaw, outside of Europe. And I said, yeah, I, 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 I did know that. And I said, did you know that in Naperville, Naperville's got the largest Indian population in the Midwest? I know that. She didn't know that. And I said to her, "There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Asian people in Neighborville as it is." And then she says, "Well, Indian people are Asian." I said, "I know they are, but how are you going to different? I, I mean, I could explain the other uh, Asian people to you, uh, but it won't be a politically correct way." And she said, "Well." Well, you need to explain it that way. I said, well, how do you want me to explain it? Do you want me to explain it that west of the Himalayas is one Asian people and there's a whole bunch of Asian people on the eastern side of the Himalayas? She said, well, need to explain it. Well, then you need to explain it that way. And I said, do you know where the Himalayas are? She said, no. I said, then how am I going to explain which people group is on one side of the mountain range than the other and you don't know where they're at? So she gets, she got frustrated with me because I called the people in general on the eastern side of the Himalayas Orientals because that's offensive now. And then she gives me this big lecture and I said, you know what? For centuries, the eastern half of the Himalayans was known as the Orient. It was. I'm so sorry. That in, 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 that that encases a whole list of multiple people groups, whether they be Chinese, Japanese, uh, Burmese, uh, Thai, uh, Tibetan. I mean, it encompasses a whole group as a as. A, as it was, that area was called the Orient in general. So now you can't use that term. But it it descends real quick. And, and it really comes down to this. Well, the other group is Asian too. I said, well, how do you want me to describe them? She didn't know how I could differentiate between Indian people versus Asian people. Well, it's real easy to call somebody Indian because they come from India. On the other side of the, of, of the Himalayas are Asian people, Eastern Asian people. If you're going to call Indians Eastern, you, you just can't lump them all. <laughs> They're two distinct people groups. They're all distinct people groups in one group, but Indians are Indians. <laughs> this is why you don't... This is why it's so difficult to have a conversation with them. It descends into nonsense quickly. Because she refused. She did not want me to use that term. She did not want me to use the term Oriental. 
it's offensive and you don't get to determine you don't get to determine what isn't or what isn't by whoever decides to call it you know what i i'm too old to care at this point when you when you make a distinction between indian people and oriental people people will automatically kind of have an idea what you're talking about i mean it's the truth now I don't know particularly because I I can't tell a Korean person from a Japanese person from a Chinese person. But I'm gonna tell you, they all can tell each other apart. For some crazy reason, they they can. A Japanese person can tell a Korean person, a Korean person can tell from a Chinese person. They they know the nuances. I don't know, I don't have a clue. And it's not there's nothing racist about that. It's a simple observation about people. And I'm not, and I'm not even talking about anything negative about them. I'm talking about a region of where they live. But she actually has the nerve, to, and, I, and that's exactly what I said to her. One people group lives on the western ends of the Himal, western sides of the Himalayan mountains, and the other group lives on the eastern side of the Himalayan mountain range. Well, then she says, "Use that way to explain it." And I said, "Do you know where the Himalayas are?" She says, "No." then how are you going to know who I'm talking about? This is... <laughs> I have got a ton of stories like this for this person. A ton of them. What happens, I usually record them. I look at them two days later and I erase them. But I'm not erasing this one. Because it shows you the ridiculousness of, of how their brain works. It's just mind-boggling to me. <laughs>